know it's been a while, <laughs> but what's up? I'm back. And I didn't mean for today's video to be any talking head video, so if you don't want to listen to me sit here and talk for a few minutes, then you could just go ahead and skip forward or forward or whichever way is forward. I don't know which way is forward, but double tap it and uh, go to whatever I say is on the screen right now. But if you're sitting here listening, I appreciate it. And uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who supports me, everybody who's going to watch through this and listen to what I have to say. And everybody who, if it's your first time at the channel, why not stop, hit that subscribe button, stick a while, and uh, go ahead and enjoy the video. But I just wanted to let you know that um, I believe it was a few months ago since my last upload. Uh, since then, I have formatted my memory card. I did have videos planned. I was bummed out about that, so I haven't been posting anything. And if you see uh, that I've been posting like some shorts, some reels on Instagram, and different TikTok videos, even on Twitter, I've been posting some stuff. Cause I wanted to downsize my content, and uh, that's pretty much just because I started my new job as a salesman at Jerry Lane, and uh, selling cars now. So congratulations to me for that. But it does take a lot of my time now. Like I'm there at least 10 hours a day 10 to 12 hours a day five to six days a week and uh that's just because we can't do anything on sundays which you all probably know but uh i would say that i do like the job and uh it's something that i might be doing for some time until you know i can save up a bunch of money and I won't have to do that anymore but let's just get back on topic i did initially start recording my coilover install from max speeding rods they did send me over some coilovers to make a video for them and uh i didn't finish that well they're all installed but i just need to do the ride height and i can show you all that whenever we get to the video but uh most of that video is gone because i formatted my memory card i went to certain car events and uh that footage is gone as well yeah just i i've been missing out on some of the content and i've been pretty bummed out about that but now here we are back to making videos whenever i can and uh yeah today i have my miata back i do i have it back it's out of the shop i've been fighting between like fueling and throttle issues and all of that stuff but my tuner he uh he did tell me that it probably was my injectors that I bought some faulty injectors. I forgot where I bought them from. It probably was like Facebook Marketplace or something. But uh, they were cheap. And now I see why they were so cheap because they were faulty. But I ended up sending them off to injector rehab. Got everything situated. Bought some new injectors from them. And now I have to install them on there. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. I'm um, fixing my coilovers. And... Uh, installing these injectors and hopefully whenever it comes to do a retune uh which should be within the next week or so then maybe i can record that for y'all but i'm gonna stop talking because like i said today was not supposed to be a talking head video or anything so let's go ahead and jump into the video I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like I'm not nervous about this but uh injector rehab is a pretty credible source source and uh I've been recommended to them by a couple people and so getting what I got done and especially uh buying new injectors from them I think that I'm in pretty good shape but I'm still a little nervous but now it's time to actually start this thing up and see where we are hopefully everything is good it starts up good hopefully Rattling, but that may be just because it hasn't been 
caught up in a while. And I don't know, this is kind of loose. But uh, she's running. Well, he's running. been there because I know I do have a small slight leak right here and you can see like my little DIY or whatever but other than that I think she's running real good all right so before I jack the car up I need to tell y'all something and explain y'all something. Now, y'all are going to talk about me bad and say I'm like super ghetto for this. But look, this is what I'm going to do. This is the height that I'm about to try to get to. And as you can see, all I have on me is a toothpick. So you can use something like this or just do it, you know, measuring and that kind of stuff. But I'm going to say this is about how far I need to go down where my fingers are. Now watch this. As you can see, the back is about as high as this toothpick so uh that's why i decided to use it but let me go back to the front real quick like i was saying i already measured this and you can see this is about how far i need to go down so i broke the toothpick right there and as you can see this was the part that shows about how far i need to go down so when i get the wheel off of here i'm going to use this toothpick and i need to go down about as far as this so I'm gonna explain that a little more when I start to do it. All right, so now that I'm under the car, you can see uh, this is the coilover and uh, I have my toothpick. And so basically I'm gonna wanna lower the toothpick, I mean lower the spring by this much. But I might not go down that low, but then again, I might. So I don't know, but this is basically what I'm gonna do. I need to loosen this up first. Get that loose. And you could just put this at the height that you need it to be at. And then, basically all I'm gonna do is spin this top one to the left to lower it. If I were to raise it, I would spin this bottom one to the right. But I'm gonna get back with you when I'm done. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed in these coilovers because of the ride height. I mean, they might settle a little bit, but uh, I actually could not get them as low as I thought I was going to get them using that toothpick method because they were already almost to the end of the thread on the base. So, I mean, I couldn't get that like the front. The fronts are nice. Not even going to lie. I like this front ride height, but the backs don't like that. But uh, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and put this uh, strut tower brace that I have. I actually was gifted this a while back whenever I first started uh, talking about my Miata build. I was gifted this. About to put this on there. Track dog racing. And we're going to see how that goes. But uh, 
If anybody wants them, they can have them. Yeah, it's definitely not one to kill like it was at first. It's a lot better. I'm scared to even give it throttle. <laughs> Talking y'all head off. I'm about to just drive. 